Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my May favorites. I was gonna film a tutorial today. However, it's the end of May, which I cannot believe this month went by so fast. And I figured I should get up my favorites before I go on to my tutorial. So if you wanna see a tutorial, that will be next. And if you have any requests, let me know down below because I wanna do something you guys wanna see. <laughs> I have been playing around with a bunch of new products this month, got back to reading, so I have a book for you guys as well. So it's really well-rounded, a fragrance that I picked up. If you watch my perfume declutter, I picked up a fragrance I talked about in that video, and I love it. You guys told me to pick it up. Any guesses, let me know down below before you even watch. I'm going to share with you everything that I've been loving this past month. So if you're curious to see what made the cut, then just keep watching. I got side lights to make it brighter. So in previous videos, it was really, really bright. I'm turning them off now. Unless you guys like it like this. It's a little too bright, right? <laughs> I ended up purchasing the fragrance that I mentioned in my perfume declutter video. It is the Ariana Grande Cloud. You guys told me I would love it. So I went ahead, pulled the trigger and purchased it. Not a big fan of the packaging myself, but the fragrance. This is so, so good. I've been waiting to put it on today. <laughs> it's so, so good. I think Cloud is the perfect name for it because it is quite light. It has the perfect balance of a fruity floral musk, which I personally love. It has a lot of marshmallow to it. It says it has coconut too, which I don't get in this, but it definitely has that softer side to it, like a cloud. I wish it was a little bit stronger, just a little bit stronger for me because I find my nose adjust to this throughout the day. And I just got it this month and I'm already blowing through it. So it's one of those fragrances that I can definitely use up quite fast. I really enjoy the scent. And I'm so glad you guys encouraged me to go pick it up because it's definitely up my alley of my fragrances that I like. If you like Burberry Her, it's like, a softer, not sweeter, has more musk to it, but definitely has, I don't wanna say powdery, but it's definitely that soft marshmallowy vibe. It's like a powdered sugar kind of smell to it. Not sickeningly sweet, but definitely has a powderiness to it, but not baby powder powder, like a sugar powder, like a sweet tart maybe. <laughs> it smells really good regardless and I highly recommend. I love Ariana Grande fragrances. I finally picked that up and I'm just so happy with it. It's what I've been wearing every day now. <laughs> it smells so good. It's like the perfect daytime soft scent for me. Then I also picked up the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I purchased this from her website because I don't even think it's on Sephora right now. It hasn't come to Sephora yet but I did get it there. It shipped within a day to me. It was so fast shipping. And I ended up going with shade three, though I'm wanting to pick up number two as well. But that is what I'm wearing today. And it is exactly like the airbrush powder, if you like that, that same kind of formula. Very smoothing, super airy and soft, and it just blends on easily. This packaging is refillable, so you can actually purchase the powder and put it in something else if you wanna save some money. But I really love that they did this as a refillable packaging because I'm definitely gonna utilize that. It is huge. It's like the size of the Marc Jacobs powders. Let me go show you. So the packaging is similar size to the Marc Jacobs bronzers, which I'm gonna do swatch comparisons for you because these are some of my favorite bronzers. However, there's less product in them. So don't let the size fool you. The Marc Jacobs is still considerably bigger. It has 25 grams and this has 16 grams in here. But I'm gonna be showing you guys this in my trying new makeup. It blends on beautifully, but you can see it on my skin right now. It's just the perfect color for when I have a tan. But as I said, I do wanna pick up number two because it kind of reminds me of Marc Jacobs Tantastic. So I do want that one too. But if you're curious about the formula of this, it's really, really effortless. Pricey to pick up. However, you can get just the refill and save a little bit of money that way, but the packaging, I love Charlotte Tilbury. It's like my favorite packaging. It's super classy, heavy. It's just a beautiful, beautiful product. I had a request to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, so I was pulling products from my collection to see what I would use for that tutorial. And I started using them again just to play around and see what kind of look I'm gonna come up with. Really? Do we need to pull the chairs across the floor up there? I have to film on weekends again. <laughs> you can hear everyone home. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand, and they've come out with more shades of this, but this was the first one I believe they came out with in Spotlight. It's just a beautiful silvery champagne. I have it on today, and you can see 
pretty intense <laughs> right now because I do have a tan going on. But this is my favorite sort of highlight to wear when I'm doing a more natural makeup look. Minimal makeup on the skin and just pop this on the high points of my face and it really gives you a beautiful glow. It gets intense. <laughs> I wanna check out more of the shades. I know a few of you recommended other shades to me, so if you've tried this product and you think I'd really like another shade, let me know in the comments because I'm in love with the formula. The packaging sucks though. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. Just because I don't really like this kind of dispenser and it's like a quarter full. They could put way more in it, you know? <laughs> but regardless, the formula is beautiful and I have been reaching for it since I'm trying to put together a video for you guys, but it is a beautiful product and I forgot how much I love it. This next product was really hard to get a hold of. It kept going in and out of stock and it is the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. I really love this for the summer. It's just been really good because it has that kind of medicated feeling to it, very cooling on the lips. And I think it's perfect for daytime, especially since I spend most of my time outdoors when it's nice and it just, feels so cooling and nice on the lips. It makes it really comfortable. I still prefer my Laneige for at night for my lip sleeping mask. So this, I don't use at night. Still think the Laneige one is much better for overnight lip treatment for me, but for during the day, I think this is really nice for summer just because it has that, that kind of cooling medicinal effect on the lips. It just feels really nice, especially outside in the sun. It's been getting really good ratings too, but it's been in and out of stock. I was stocking Shoppers Drug Mart because that's where I picked it up in Canada, but it finally came back in. It's probably out of stock again <laughs> because that's what happens to it. But if you're curious about it, I've been really enjoying it. Then I was watching Steph Stephanie SMLXO on YouTube. I love my Stephanie's on YouTube. <laughs> and she was using this in her skincare routine. It's from Flawless and I got this off Amazon. It's a rose quartz roller and this you can actually turn on. You can also have this vibrate, which is really nice. It feels great on the skin. And I haven't been using it too long so I can't say the long-term benefits of this, but I do feel like it helps the drainage of my face just to contour everything. In the morning when I'm doing my skincare and even at night I've been using this. And it does come with an attachment for the eye. However, I don't know if it was lack of sleep or because of this, I developed an eye twitch, so I haven't been using that right now. Just the face roller and it feels amazing and I do feel like it's helped slim my face a little bit. Just help with the drainage of my face. I've been reaching for this more than other rollers I have because I picked up the Nurse Jamie, I hardly ever use it. I have another one from Avon that I hardly touch. But this one, for whatever reason, I just feel like the design of it just works better for me and I love that it vibrates too. Just adds that added kind of luxury to it. And I got it on Amazon, it's not too pricey. Comes with a battery. I wish it was just rechargeable, you don't have to use a battery, but. That's my only real complaint about it. Two attachments, if you wanna use it under your eye as well, it does come with something smaller, so that's really good if you wanna use it for that. I've strictly been using it for my face and I've been really enjoying it. Then also from Amazon, I decided to check out the Lady Gaga House Laboratories liner. All you were telling me to pick it up, you said I would like it and I love it because I like a pen eyeliner, as you guys are aware, because you told me to get this. And it is the darkest pen liner I have ever used. Super easy to use, super black, matte. It is the perfect formula and I got it on Amazon. First thing that I've tried from House Laboratories and I love it. Definitely makes me wanna try more of her products, but you guys know me. <laughs> You knew I would love it and I'm so happy that I decided to finally take the plunge. The packaging is awesome. I love the design of it. The formula itself is just phenomenal. So I'm so happy with this. And then I'm sure you're also aware that I have chronically dry hands. <laughs> and especially during a time like this, I'm just constantly washing them and my hands are actually soft right now. Like it's unbelievable to me that they feel soft. I can't remember the last time my hands felt soft. I honestly cannot remember. But this has been really helping me out. And it came in a set. I posted this on IG stories. A bunch of you were saying you can't get it separately. I hope eventually you can and in a bigger size. They have a body cream, which is beautiful too. And once this is out, I'll use that on my hands. But it is the Academy Scientifique de Beauté. 
and it is French. I will show you guys here. So you can check it out. And it is a 99% natural origin hand cream. They highlighted this Tierre flower, shea butter, vitamin E, and it's supposed to soften your hands without a greasy film. And it truly does that. It doesn't stay on top of your skin and make everything you touch greasy. It sinks in and you have instantly soft, smooth hands. And I hate the smell of shea butter. It doesn't smell like shea butter. <laughs> it has a floral scent, very light floral. It's very pleasant. And it's just honestly been my favorite hand cream I've ever tried. <laughs> my hands are so soft and I just am in love with this. I hope they have it separately and in a bigger size because I will forever purchase this. It is perfect <laughs> for me, like literally the perfect hand cream. Then I've been in love with this lip color from Splendor by Angel C. And I was connected with her through my cousin and she sent me a bunch of products cause she's starting a makeup line. And this is in Love Fest. It is the most beautiful mid-tone pink color. That's what I was wearing on my lips. It smells like cake, like vanilla cake. It's a perfect smell, perfect amount of pigment. And I just love how creamy and smooth it is and just the perfect mid-tone pink because I don't normally wear pinks, but this is my kind of perfect pink to me. So if you like this kind of color, this is what I've been wearing. I have another photo on my IG of me wearing this and this is what I've been loving. So. Definitely check out the lip formulas. I really love these lip glosses that she does. Then for lashes, I've mentioned these before and it was like a typo on the pack I had. I thought they were called Gaia, but they're Gala lashes. So I'm pretty sure I've mentioned these before, but because the I was, well, it's not an I. The L was misprinted. I was calling them Gaia, but these are the Gala lashes from Kiss and they're part of the Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. I'll show a picture of me wearing them, but they are the perfect kind of wispy fullness that I love in a lash. And I have been using this with my Velour Lash Glue, which I almost forgot. So this is the Velour Lash & Go Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid. You are correct in hearing that it is a lash glue and liner. It is the first of its kind, I believe. And this is just a game changer in my opinion. I was talking about it in my Sephora haul and I am in love with this. I can use it as an eyeliner, quickly pop on my lashes, or I just put it on the strip lash and stick it on. It's the fastest drying glue, super easy to remove, doesn't irritate my eyes. The formula does have latex in it, so if you need latex free, it does contain latex, so I just wanted to throw that out there. But it is the easiest and fastest drying glue I have ever used. It makes it so simple to do lashes, especially if you wear winged liner all the time or any kind of liner. This is gonna make it so easy for you. Like I can do this quicker than I can do my mascara. So that's why I've been loving it. It's just really easy for me to do. Pop on a pair of lashes and go. It's so fast. And then the last makeup product that I wanted to give a shout out to that I swatched and talked about all in my Sephora haul, but I've been using these so much and they're the new Fenty cream products, the bronzers and the blushes. Love the formula of these. Yes, they are sheer. Yes, the blushes are small, but I really love the formula. It is buildable. And if you're similar to skin tone to me, I picked up three Macchiato, which I thought initially was gonna be the one that I liked more, and five Teddy. 100% would just get Teddy from now on. Macchiato is quite nice, but if you are of a lighter complexion and you don't have to build it up as much, but Teddy is my perfect color. I was wearing it in that haul video, so you can go check it out. It is so easy to use. I find these you can't screw up. Very user-friendly formulas. And the blushes too. I'll put in swatches. I'm wearing Petal Pop in today on my cheeks to just give that everyday kind of pink look to the cheeks. It's perfect. And then I picked up some fun colors in them too because I love that Fenty. It did some out there colors of creams that I've never tried. Plus I love the formula. So I'm so happy that I picked up four. Truly I want them all because I'm just in love with cream products, but they have been so nice. And if you have been hesitant of picking them up, they're actually my favorite thing that Fenty has launched today. They are impeccable. Perfect formula for me. I love that they're sheer and buildable. And then I have a book I wanted to share with you guys. I finally got back into reading. I read this in two days and I've had this since Christmas. This is by Colleen Hoover and it is the book Verity. This is so disturbing, but it was a good read. I fell into this book and just got captivated in the storyline. It's like 
nothing I've ever read. Really easy read, but very, very disturbing. <laughs> so if you're looking for something to just take you away for a little bit, very disturbing. It was hard for me to read parts of it. It is just one of those books that stays with you. And I did enjoy it, even though it was super creepy, very entertaining, and it kept me from being bored. Like this captured my interest. So I was so happy with this read and it got me back into reading. So I'm glad that I finally got around to reading this. It's been sitting waiting for me to read and I really enjoyed it. So if you have any book recommendations, I always like to take them, especially if they're like a, it's so dirty from my sunscreen fingers because I had it outside. <laughs> especially if it's a mystery thriller type of psychological thriller. I love those mixed with a bit of romance that can always be good, like that book is. <laughs> Definitely leave your recommendations down below. An easy read for me. This is another thing that I picked up just to do a quick, cute hairstyle. And I really love these. These are ponytails from, insert name here, INH Hair. And I've worn wigs from them before, which they have sent me, and I purchased these ponytails myself. So. I've seen these going around and I wanted to get them. They had a bundle with this, which is, I'll put the name on the screen, but it's the one that has this fun tinsel in and I just wanted to be super fun today. And then I also got the Ash Blonde, which you're probably like, that's not gonna match you at all, but I have plans to blend this in somehow. <laughs> I have a spray that I figure I could make it look kind of balayage and I think it's gonna look good. I have hopes that it will look good. So I haven't tried this one out yet, but you can see this ponytail, how it has like this crimped texture to it. It's not completely straight, but it really does give you a beautiful height. And then it has this hair part to wrap around. So you can get that kind of look to your ponytail. And I just think they're super cute, super easy, super fun to do. And I've been wanting little ponytails like, well, not little, these are long. <laughs> I wanted ponytails like this for quite a while and I'm definitely gonna get a ton of use out of them because I love to just slick back my hair and throw it up. And then I can just attach one of these if I wanna look more put together, you know? My battery died at that exact moment when I was talking about my hair, but I figured someone's gonna ask me about these and they're just really convenient and cute. So I figured I had to mention them here as well and that is going to be everything for my May favorites. Ton of products I fell in love with and I just wanna spray the Ariana Grande fragrance again. Oh my God. I sprayed it in my mouth. <laughs> it smells so good. I'm not even mad at it. I hope you enjoyed the products that I shared. These have been my favorites, my go-tos, and I've just fallen back in love with makeup, reading, everything. I'm getting back into it slowly, feeling like myself, which is good. And I cannot wait to produce some tutorials coming up soon. So if you have any ideas for looks you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments. A lot of things I wanted to ask you in this video. Can you remember them all? Answer all my questions down below. I don't even remember what I asked you. There's a bunch. Hopefully I get some answers <laughs> moving forward. But thank you guys again for watching. I hope this was enjoyable for you. As always, let me know what you have been enjoying in the comment section below. I would love to know. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. Hit that bell to be notified of all my future uploads. And I will see you guys in my next video.